Hi, I'm Phil Linehan, the Operations Director of the Mainstream Group. I'm going to cover uncoupling and coupling. It's normally carried out at the end of your driving test and you would be expected to know that you need to pull up on a flat, level, hard standing legal area. But the examiner will tell you where they want you to do your uncoupling and coupling. The first thing you must do is dismount the vehicle. You've ensured that the handbrake is on in the cab and the next thing you'll be doing is applying the trailer brake. However, there are many different types of tractor and trailer and the trailer brake can be in any place along the trailer itself. I always urge you to get training so as you are very familiar with the type of vehicle you use. We're going to put the trailer brake on. You will be given a handout by your trainer and it will have the procedure that is required. It will help you if you study it and you will always get it right. The trailer brake on this vehicle, you apply it by pulling it outwards. And then you will lower the landing legs. Pull the handle out, it has two gears. Push it in, it's a low gear, so lots of winding for movement. Pull it out and the legs will move quicker. Once the legs are completely on the floor, stow the handle. And now we're going to disconnect the electric and the airlines. I'm going to remove the electric cables and the air cables and stow them correctly. The reason we stow them is because we don't know how close by our next trailer will be. And the examiners are looking for you to stow them correctly. Always remove the nearest one to you first to avoid getting grease on your clothing. And now we will move on and disconnect the trailer using the trailer connection device. And now we're ready to uncouple the trailer. First thing we must do is release the security dog clip located here and then pull the locking bar out. Pull the locking bar out by grasping it firmly, support your weight against the trailer, pull it sharply towards you and to the front of the trailer and secure it off, like this. Then you are ready to get in the vehicle and drive the tractor unit forward to uncouple. And now we need to start the engine and drive the vehicles forward slowly under control so the unit detaches from the trailer. You may have to build up some air pressure because you disconnected the emergency airline. Once the air pressure has built up, select the low gear, release the handbrake and drive forward slowly. Under control. And then I would say to the examiner, I'll go to the rear of the trailer and remove the number plate. 99 times out of 100, the examiner will say, that's okay, we're gonna pick that trailer up. If they don't, then you need to remove the number plate and stow it safely in the cab. And then you have completed the uncoupling exercise. The examiner will ask you to recouple the trailer. You've got to imagine that you have never seen this trailer before, so there are some checks you need to carry out. The first thing you need to do is to ensure that the trailer is yours, and you would have paperwork 
that would give you the trailer identification number. And in this case, the trailer identification number is on the top and it is usually on the front of the trailer. And you identify that number with the paperwork to ensure that it is the right trailer. Then the next two important things you must do is check that the MOT is valid and the trailer brake is on. So you walk down the side of the vehicle, and you check that the MOT is valid, this one, July of this year. You check the identification number and you ensure the trailer brake is on. And then you are ready to carry out your checks. Checking that the vehicle hasn't got any cuts in the side of the curtain, the run under bar, the reflectors are correct, all the straps are secure. You check the wheels and the tires to ensure they're in good condition and that the wheel nuts are secure. If there are no wheel nut indicators, then you check that there isn't any corrosion around the wheel nuts themselves. Check the battery for the tail lift. Come around the back, ensure the doors are closed and sealed as required and all the handles are secure. Looking at the reflectors and the lights, to ensure they are, they are there and that they are clean and in good serviceable condition. And in our case, that we have an L plate. As we walk down again, checking the straps are secure and the same checks for wheels, spray suppression equipment, as you would have done on the other side. Same with the reflectors and the run under bar. As you walk towards the front of the vehicle, you check that the trailer legs haven't sunk into the tarmac and then you walk to the front of the trailer and you look underneath to ensure that the kingpin isn't bent or damaged and then you move round to the front of the vehicle where you'll check the connectors are secure and clean and will take your cables and your airlines when you couple up. You are now ready to connect the unit to the trailer. Then you put the tractor unit in front of and lined up with the trailer so as the whole combination is straight but you stop short of the trailer and then you ensure that the fifth wheel is higher than the trailer and then you need to get into the vehicle start it up and reverse in slowly until the whole combination clicks together and then you do two attempts to drive forward against the fifth wheel to ensure that it is solid and it is secure. I'm going to do that now. So I've started the engine. I've engaged reverse gear in the lowest ratio. And then I reverse back under control. Onto the vehicle in order to secure the trailer. Once it has gone fully on, you feel the clunk, engage your forward gear, and go against the locking mechanism. Sometimes the air pressure will be too low, you have to build it up. The examiners will be well used to this, and they will allow you time, so you mustn't panic as the air pressure builds up. So engage the forward gear, a low gear, release the handbrake. Once, twice against the trailer brake. Handbrake on, into neutral, and switch off the engine. I now need to connect the air lines and the electrical cables. Connecting the electrical cables and the airline starts with securing the coupling handle by reattaching the dog clip. Once that is secure, you can climb behind the cab and connect the airlines and the electrical cables. Then you'll reconnect the cables in the reverse order of the way you disconnected them, starting with the furthest away first, working towards yourself.
making sure you move the clip and the collar cut apart. When the last one is done, ensure they're all secure, then you're able to get down and you'll be able to raise the landing legs. So to raise the landing legs exactly the same as before, but in the reverse order. When you get to the top, don't put pressure against the legs in order to stow them. Leave a little bit, only have to be 15 centimeters from the ground. This is way over that. Then you secure the handle and then you come into the parking brake and you release it by pushing it forward. And then you're ready to carry out the electrics check and you ask the examiner, will they help you with the electrics check? And now we're going to carry out the lighting check. So you start the engine. The examiner will move to the rear of the vehicle, turn the headlights on, check, they'll give you a thumbs up, then you brake, check again, they'll give you the thumbs up. You indicate left, again a thumbs up, indicate right, again a thumbs up. We do the hazards, and if there's a fog light fitted, we check the fog light. Then switch all the lights off, switch off the engine, and you're now ready to replace the number plate. And then we refit the number plate if we removed it. Pushing it on, making sure it's secure. And as with all our training films, we urge you to get expert training when doing your coupling and uncoupling drills. <laughs>